I'm Walter, I work for the R&D team as a developer and in my free time I also like swimming and uh, I work as a lifeguard in summer. Okay. I'm uh, Sander, I'm also part of the R&D team here at Brixis uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm basically a real nerd so uh, I really like developing software also in my free time. From the day you start at Brixis that you have the feeling that you really have impact on the product and the things you do and the things you say are appreciated and uh, have a role in the products that are released. We developed BIM QuickDraw, uh, the a new command in BricsCAD that allows you to very quickly and easily draw rooms and buildings. For architects who want to sketch something freely on paper, but we want to take that process also uh, in software to just model freely the first outlines of, of a building. It all started with a brainstorm when the idea was that in some simple games it's very easy to create buildings and rooms but actually in uh, CAD software it's quite difficult. The first couple, uh, couple designs that we made were really quite bad. It actually looked like, like a small swimming pool or something so it was not, uh, <laughs> yeah. not very attractive. Yeah, depending on the amount of time we get to develop it, we can go pretty wild. Mm -hmm. uh, one idea is to take the whole concept of room modeling like one step further where you can really grab your rooms and drag them around. If it, if it doesn't feel right or if it doesn't do what people think it should do, then please let us know because then we can we can we, we will use that input to make it better. Hello, we're going to give a very quick demo of the new Quick Draw tool. You can find the icon here in the upper left corner which launches this new tool. As you can see, there is a blue uh, square attached to this to the mouse which is called the room cursor. And as you see, it snaps to the origin and such it's very easy to start your plan at the origin at 000. So if you click and extend the room cursor, you can see this rectangle starts moving along. As such is possible to, just with two clicks, create the outline of your building. We can do it uh, just as such, or we can also specify dimensions. For example, here, we can see the room cursor residing on this slab. We can as such uh, click, for example, say that this uh, uh, room here has to be 5,000 millimeters by 4000 millimeters, press enter, and as such it creates two walls. Now if you have a look here in the structure panel, we can see that not only it has created some geometry, it also created a building, the floor with slab and some walls. So uh, directly the new uh, solids are classified and put into the right spatial location. Of course we can go uh, through with this, as you can see, this room cursor has a uh, snapping behavior, so it snaps to existing walls. As such, it's very easy to just start wherever you want and specify the position of your new room inside the building. There's also another very interesting feature of this uh, new tool, namely the partial wall movement tool. So if we snap the room cursor here to the outside corner and we move the cursor over, uh, the starting point, then you see that it's turned red. So also the walls here are turned partially red. This means then that when clicking this, so for example at 8 meter and uh, 1 meter, the slab actually is uh, cut and the walls are also cut to make an L-shaped here in the, uh, in the slab. So let's now create a living room in this building. Uh, we start with the cursor here. Draw it like this, and now we want to make an L shape. So we can again use the um, partial wall movement feature. So by, like this, moving it over the wall, seeing the red uh, area, indicating which part will be moved, and just clicking here, which creates a wall. As such, we can, in a few clicks, design the, the floor plan of our new building. Uh, another interesting uh, part here is that we can also specify dimensions, like to specify distances from existing walls. For example, here we want a garden shed at uh, 7.5 meters from the main house. We just do it and we can specify dimensions all over again. So everybody has seen also here this blue plus widget. Actually, if we click this one, 
It's very simple, it just copies the top floor of the building and we can do it as much as we want. So, you can see in a few seconds we, we created a building with a garden shed. Uh, and also here in the structure panel we can see we have a building with uh, three floors and a second building which is the garden shed. Thank you.